What is up guys and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video with me The Real Deal. So today we are going to be looking at the top 5 things I'd love to add or change in the game. Um, so this is from my point of view, I am an end game player that's free to play. Um, we'll have a quick look at my account, so I've got quite a stacked account for a free to play player. It's taken me about 2.5 years to sort of build up my roster and stuff and you can see my account's pretty stacked. Uh, let's change it to... Uh, so you can just see all those beautiful legendaries. Um, but yeah, so this is sort of my account. Um, I've achieved most of the big boy stuff on raid. So clan boss, ultra nightmare, can one kit quite comfortably. Um, faction wars, completed that as well. Um, but the two areas that I love to work on are well, Hydra, even though I kind of hate it, it drives me mad. Um, I can one key hard and that can be anywhere from 20 mil to 40 mil, just pretending on RNG. Um, but yeah, so working on Brutal at the moment, which is really hard and really difficult. And the other area is um, tag, tag Team Arena. Um, I sort of float around between Gold 2 and Gold 3. So I'm always looking to better myself in uh, Tag Arena and push for that. So yeah, let's um, go with what I'd love to do first. And that is Arena. So the first thing I'd love to add to the game is live PvP. Um, I think it's what every player wants. Um, I know they've been talking about for a very long time that they are going to do it. Um, and it was meant to be introduced this year. But obviously, with things going on in the world, that's caused delays. So I do appreciate that. And I'm hoping next year, like sort of March, that um, they try and drop live PvP. Because I can't I can't imagine it being that difficult for them to do, to be honest. And loads of other games have it. And I just feel that, you know, in this day and age, live PvP is what people want. Uh, Classic Arena right now is just an absolute joke. Um you know, anyone could, like can just sort of get into Gold Arena now. Uh, so Gold 5 Classic Arena and you don't even have to try anymore. It's just, it is just a bit of a joke. Um, and they just can't seem to fine tune that balance of where it's too ridiculous or it's just too easy. They really need to sort of fine tune it and really work on that. Um, and also the rewards you get from it aren't great either. Uh, Tag Arena, I think most people hate it. I think I'm actually on the other side of it where I absolutely love it. Um, when you're sort of free to play, all, early on it's awful because you don't have a roster, your teams are too small, you don't have the gear, and you can't really push up for it. Um, and then I think the other side of it is if you're like a massive whale or kraken, you know, your account's so stacked that you can just steamroll through Tag Arena and it doesn't mean anything to you. But for me, I really enjoy it because um, I really have to think about what I'm doing and I can't just, you know, I just can't blitz my way through. I really do have to build like special teams for it and work on my defense, work on my offense. So I actually really enjoy it. But yeah, so number one for me, Live Arena. Number two, number two, gear removal. I think they just flat out should just remove the cost. Um, it's just so frustrating when, you know, you need to re-gear a champion and you just burn for your silver. Um, and I did think about the, the silver, like silver being an issue in the game, but actually I don't think silver is an issue. It's just that because you, gear cost, because of the replacing your gear and regearing champions, that's where all your silver gets burnt. Um, you know, when you're sort of like where I am in the game, I don't really lose, like, I sort of, my silver floats between 40 mil to 60 mil. But, um, you know, like, it, it doesn't really like upgrading champions and um, what, what else do you spend silver on? Uh, artifacts and stuff. If you do it in a very clever way, you don't really ever... You know, you don't really ever lose a lot. And there's loads of ways to get silver now as well, like the forge and stuff. So that's why I sort of chose gear removal over the top of it. And the reason I've, I personally feel that they should do gear removal is that um, it just stops people from being creative. So, you know, um, rather than, you know, like Mithrala just in my typical perception gear, um, it'd just be amazing. Like if I could just do all these other different things with a champion where like I could put on reflex on them or just um frost set or something like just trying to build unique builds and just making the game more interesting making arena more fun making hydra easier things like that and i just really feel that they should just remove that gear that gear of cost because it just it does sort of ruin the game a bit and um i feel a lot of people feel strongly about that so yeah that would be definitely my number two number three books i just cannot stand the way um that it is so difficult to get books. I've got 14 at the moment. Um, let's see. This is all the champions that I need to upgrade. Um, look at that. There's no... It would take me probably about 10 years to get enough books to... 
do all these champions. They just need to bring a way in to farm books. Um, I can't believe as well, just to think that people will spend money just to get champions and then have to spend more money just so they can get books to to make their champions to get their full, like their true potential. I just think it's it's just shameful. There's there's no two ways about it. They really do need to just bring in a way to farm it. Um, like, where is it? Not No, so not Faction Wars. Um, oh, the Void Tower. Yeah, is now the Iron Twins. So personally, what I would have done is that would have been a way to farm books. Uh, what I would have done is probably you get like 10 epic books and that can be, you know, converted into one legendary book. Um, because at the moment, it's just so difficult to um, upgrade all your champions um, with books. And it's just so, it's such a long process. And, you know, I've, like, I've just pulled this new champion and it's going to take me almost all the books I've got now just to fully upgrade them. And yeah, they just need to bring in a way to make it farmable. So number four, the dupe system. I hate the dupe system. Uh, Faction Guardians, just, I think it's a stall tactic. So obviously free to play, and you, you can see my account, like it's not super stacked, but it's pretty stacked. And um, you know, I haven't, six is probably my most on, um, yeah, num six legendaries is my most for uh, barbarians and that just gives me an extra 30 accuracy and resistance which is pretty decent to be fair but i know we all want that speed you know at the end of the day we all want that speed but um yeah it's just another thing separating free to play and whales and i just don't like it um i also hate uh life tokens i just think it's a joke as well like um yeah sort of five champions to get like or five or six champions to get a decent one or eight to get sir nicholas um, I just think it's completely unreasonable. Um, and then empowering champions as well, just further separating free to play and like the people that just spend way too much money on this game. Just unbelievable, really. The only thing I do like about this though is that actually I can see where I've got all my dupes and stuff as well. But yeah, just they really do need to think it through. And I think a much better way of doing it would be that um, I'd be perfectly, accept you know, I'd be happy with this if that, you know, I think my way would be that i think like league of legends for example if i had got three three dupe legendaries i could just um blend them down re-roll and get another legendary champion that's a non-dupe i think that would be perfectly acceptable and i think that's moving forward i think that's how they should do it um obviously i don't ever see them going back and to be fair it probably it's it's really difficult because it's so unfair on the people that have empowered their champions and stuff to sort of go back because obviously then you're screwing loads of people out of money. But um, that's how I would do it. I would, um, that's how I would have done it is that, you know, you get your three champions, you blend them down into some form of currency or whatever, and then you can re-roll a non-dupe legendary. And if you've got all the champions in the game, you can either hold on for the next few legendaries that get released or um, you could just re-roll and you do get a different dupe. But, you know, you get like another duchess or something like that. So at least you're not getting completely screwed over where at the moment, I just think the system is just broken. And like I said, Guardian Factions is 100% just a stall tactic. It's not fixing the issue. You're just delaying it, which I just think is disgusting, really. Number five, Void Shards. Um, so Void Shards, as a free-to-play player, it's going to take you a year to get your first legendary unless you're very, very lucky. So it'll take you about a year to get 200 shards and 200 is about, well, well that's when you hit Mercy. Um, and then when you're end game, it doubles. So you get 400 shards a year. So that means you're going to get about two legendaries a year. Unless you're lucky, you'll get a bit more than that. But it's just so frustrating. Um, the, you know, the Void legendary champion pool has really grown over the last um, year or so. And because it's grown so much, that means it's really hard to get the champions that you want. Um, and you know, also if you're a spender, you could spend like 300 pounds or $300 and get one void legendary and they're just absolutely trash. Um, which I can't even begin to imagine how frustrating that must be, especially if you're spending that kind of money. Um, and I just feel that, you know, they should really bring in something like a void sacred. And I think you should get about five void sacreds every six weeks. So that would, uh, coincide with like a two times event. Um, and yeah, cause it just... Void Champions are so cool, um, and I don't know how many there are at the moment, but there are loads. And it'd just be so nice for everyone to have something else to play with, you know, some really cool champions. And also, there's a lot of cool duos. Like, I don't have Seafy, so I've got Rotos, but I don't have Seafy, so I can't, 
I can't use that comp, which is a real, like, really makes me sad. Um, Venus and Cupidus. So I've got Cupidus. I don't have Venus. And that's like, there's cool things you can do with that. There's all these like little duo comps that you can do really cool things with. I do have Vlad and Constantine though, who are probably the ver worst Void duo. Um, you know, they are, they do have some niche places in the game and I probably will do a video later about them, but um, they aren't great to be honest. And they don't really have like a cool mechanic either where like all the other sort of Void legendaries, um, Void like dupes oh sorry void duos that like pair up together can do some really cool stuff they're just very bland and average what they can do but anyway that is the end of the video guys um, i'd love to know what you think what things would you love to change or add into the game what are your top five please drop a comment below because i'd love to, I, I am genuinely interested um but yeah thank you so much for watching guys please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace